Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Pokemon Pure Green Green Team Run. Last time, we did a lot of things in and around Cerulean City, and we acquired Bellsprout, then evolved into Weeping Bell. This time, we're heading down to Viridian... Well, Vermilion City, rather. Um, and also probably gonna catch some other Pokemon. Now, Oddish is actually another Pokemon I can use in the run, but I won't be able to evolve it at all. So, uh... Eh, fuck it. Yeah, we'll catch it. Okay, so... And with that, we're gonna go back and heal real quick. Oh, and by the way, yeah, you find Bulbasaur on the same route where you get Oddish. Okay, so now we get Nightshade. That might actually be useful. I guess it... So, of course we can't evolve it because if it does evolve, the sprite changes color to black and red. But yeah, Nightshade, useful move. It's a fixed damage move, last I checked. Well, it does that in the normal games, but I don't know if that's still the case in this hack. I'll have to find out. TM2, which in this hack is going to be... Roost! Okay. Yeah, that. It's just a flying-type attack that heals your Pokémon. Uh, okay... I'm... It's not called... First of all, kid, it's not called negative thinking. It's called reverse psychology. But you do you. Whole lot of good that did you, kid. Well, if you have a pessimistic outlook on life, you're either right or you're pleasantly surprised. Keep dreaming, kid. Oh, right. Oh, fuck off already. Fine, be that way, bitch. Whole lot of good that did you, huh? Again, keep dreaming, kid. Maybe one day you'll make something of yourself. Oh yeah, and I caught a farfetch earlier. Let me go back around. Battle this chuckle fuck over here. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, the daycare is just over behind me. And this girl offers you a trade if you have a Voltor, which I won't have yet. As soon as I can get that would be right before Rock Tunnel. But otherwise, I would be able to use Tangela, because I'm pretty sure that has a green sprite. There's a bunch of items hidden down here, and some trainers, but... Well, don't have access to those just yet. Oh, fuck off! Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Also, first rule of Fight Club, you don't talk about fucking Fight Club! Fucking amateur hour here. 
What did I just tell you? You don't talk about Fight Club! Fuck's sake. Shouldn't have talked about Fight Club! Well, your business trip can wait. Yeah, so that that was Firewall that it used. In fact, no... Oh yeah, I should probably check to see if Nightshade still does what it's supposed to. Yeah, Nightshade. Oh no, it's got... It's a fixed 65 base power move. Okay. Honestly, I think I would have preferred it if it had its original effect, but okay. Because then you can use it to get around walls. Okay, and so first we go up here, and I wasn't talking about this guy. Well, your luck just ran out. Oh, you would... You would go first, wouldn't you? Keep moving. Okay. Up here is supposed to be a hidden item, I think. Otherwise, well, we'll see later. Oh yeah, execute that side beam now. Calciums. Well, I know I'm using that on. Now... Oh, there's another guy over here. Nice try. You want privacy, get a room. Well, only one way to find out, kiddo. Oh yeah, it's psychic. Well, this is gonna get annoying. Well, so much for that. Oh, fuck off. That's annoying. Alright. Yeah, we're getting roughed up. Alright. Fuck it. Oh yeah, potions got buffed as well. A regular potion in this hack is like a, a super potion in the base game. Super potions, I think, go up to 100, so like a Moo Moo Milk in Gen 2. And then hyper potions are unchanged. And now we arrive in Vermilion City. We're not going to be here for very long, at least not on this trip. 
Okay, so just listen to this guy brag about his rabbit ash, and we get the bike voucher. So, now, we can use Pocket Abra and go back to Cerulean City. Now that we're all healed up, let's go and get ourselves a bike. Okay, so now, of course, we have the bike. But get this. All you do is press select. I don't have to go to the menu. That's another nice quality of life change. Anyways, yeah, we need to put some items up real quick. In fact, now that I think about it, I should probably organize those real quick. Give me a second. All the way back to Vermilion City, we find a Kangaskhan! Just in case. Yep. We're gonna need some more Pokeballs, because soon we'll be able to catch another Pokémon, and one that I'm pretty sure is going to be a long-term inclusion on the team. First, we gotta go heal, and get ourselves some more Pokeballs. Actually, now that I think about it, there's a trade in, in town, I think. Well, I don't have one. Sorry, kid. Yeah, in fact, I can't even get Onyx yet. There is a trade for a Grimer, I think, that's green, which I would be able to use. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more Pokeballs. Let's get some Super Potions as well. Oh, too many. Okay, so I'm just going to reorganize my items real quick. Okay, so we're not going to the SSN right away. Um, we're actually going to go this way. Onto this route. Nope, you are not going to evolve. It's a little annoying because, of course, no held items, so no ever stuff. Eh, might as well catch ya. Anyways, I guess I'll jump back in when I catch some- when I find the Pokémon I'm actually looking for. This wasn't the one I was looking for, but it is another rare Pokémon. No. Stay asleep. Get in the ball! Okay, fuck off. Go the fuck to sleep! Get in the ball! God damn it, you! Stubborn bastard. Actually, here's a good example of what I was talking about earlier. Some Pokémon in certain routes have a different color than usual. The Spiro, for example. And we're gonna knock it out. There's the Pokemon I was looking for! Scyther! Fuck off and go to sleep! Oh, you piece of shit. Go to sleep! Get in the goddamn Pokeball, you piece of shit! Finally! It's like pulling teeth! Pain in the ass. Now I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and get it out of the box. 
Be right back. So yeah, starting moves are Quick Attack and Sharpen, and Sharpen has changed to work like the move Hone Claws, introduced in Gen 5. So it boosts its attack and accuracy. We're gonna train it up a little bit just to get it into the 20s real quick. Give me a sec. Oh, while we're at it, let's check out this house. Here, we get the good rod. So that'll get us some more Pokemon from Pokedex. So level 17, Scyther learns Wing Attack, which is actually reworked to be like Aerial Ace. So it's base power 50, which is actually a little weaker than Aerial Ace, but actually... Wait, no. No, it's not. It's I'm confused. It's a priority move. It always goes first. So it's basically a flying type wing attack. My bad. Okay, so now that we've leveled up to level 20, we're going to battle the rest of the trainers over here. Oh, okay. Go away. Well, that's annoying. Give me a sec. Yeah, I try not to use my uh, items unless I'm really far away from a Pokemon Center. It depends on how long it'll take me to get back to where I'm go where I was. In fact, I'm pretty sure Scyther's going to replace Metapod. I mean, as hilarious as it would be to have a Metapod on the team for the Hall of Fame. I'm a practical man. I'm limiting myself enough as it is. Ooh, pin missile. Um, I'm actually gonna replace that with a better move later. We're gonna go. We're gonna keep focus energy over sharpen because my base speed is high enough because of the way crit rates are calculated in Gen One. That frankly, I'd be better off maxing out my crit rates. Oh, well, fuck you too. Nope, you're not evolving. Get over it. And... Going back to the Pokemon Center again! And we're back! Oh, there's another Pokemon with a different color. Pidgey. Alright. This guy is a Porygon! You would burn me. Of course, it's a Porygon. Naturally, it would know Firewall. Okay, so now we're back again. Oh, fuck you! Hope you enjoyed that. Here's your prize, dipshit. If you're the best in your class, I'd hate to see what the worst was. Yeah, you do. This is getting annoying. I just want to train my fucking Scyther. Is that really too much to ask? No, it's not you. Where's the other guy? One, at least one of the trainers. Not you. Here we are. Okay, yeah, for you, we're definitely switching. For the love of God, I'm recording. STOP MESSAGING ME, PEOPLE! Alright, so, first of all, TM44. Uh, what's this? Light screen. Hmm, could be useful. Back. Do I want to change it to something? Let's see. Okay, you know what? It'd actually be kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... Hmm. Sure. Let's teach Metapod Light Screen. I'm actually keep it on the team for a bit longer, just for the shits and giggles. It actually reminds me, I think Pardon actually sharply increases defense, but eh, whatever. You never lost, huh? Well, then it pleases me to be the first.
Hidden item here. Two iron. Let's actually use it on you so you can take a little less damage. But what we're really here for is in here. Go in here. And we find this asshole. Diamond Finder. Yes! I want that. Oh! This guy will trade an Oddish for a Ponyta. Hmm. I'm gonna save real quick. Just to see, because if it's a green Ponyta, I'll gladly take it, but I don't think it is. Alright, get back here, dude. Sea Biscuit. Nope! Redo! Back in an alternate timeline where I wasn't an idiot. I think there might be an item over here. Yeah, it means it's right below my feet. Or possibly, maybe, no. Two max elixirs! That's good shit! Okay, so yeah, there's the Snorlax, and uh, we're gonna go back. Anyways, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this time, ladies and gentlemen. Like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out the Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.